Hey you guys, welcome back to Alleyways, or if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and if you haven't already, please, please, please make sure to join the Alleyways family, subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and turn on post notifications, not only so you know when I have new content, but also so I can include you in my subscriber shout out. This is my special way of acknowledging each and every one of you and thanking you for being so kind and so supportive and so involved in just being an incredible community that not only is making my dream of becoming a youtuber a reality but also being friends and adding so much joy to my life i'm going to be shouting out some very special subscribers at the end of today's video so make sure you stay tuned till the end in case that's you Okay, for today's video, we have been talking about doing this video for a while and I'm finally doing it. We are doing Disney Cruise Line Pirate Night Outfit Ideas. So if you've never sailed with Disney Cruise Line, something that you need to know is one night on your voyage, you are going to be experiencing something called Pirate Night. Now what that means is that you're going to go to dinner where your servers are going to be dressed in pirate outfits, there's going to be a pirate themed menu, and after dinner and a show, you're going to go all the way up to the top deck for a huge deck party called Pirates in the Caribbean. Cast members are going to be dressed like pirates, there's going to be a pirate show, characters are going to be dressed like pirates, and then you're going to enjoy Buccaneer Blast, and that is fireworks at sea. It is such a magical experience. It is so much fun. And if you've never been before, you won't know that other guests actually get really into the pirate spirit. So you're going to see entire families dressed head to toe in incredible pirate outfits. And I absolutely love seeing it. It's one of my favorite parts of vacation. And I think something that's particularly magical about Disney because you do see kids and adults alike just totally letting go of all their inhibitions, dressing in awesome outfits and having an incredible time. It's one of the only chances that I'm sure a lot of us get to just let loose, have fun, and do something totally out of the ordinary that we never would do otherwise. Okay, now that I've said that, you might think, okay, well, I need to order a pirate costume offline, and where am I gonna get that? But I wanna tell you not to worry. I'm gonna give you some outfit ideas that you can have to look incredible on pirate night with pieces that you already have in your wardrobe. So I went in my closet and pulled four different looks that we're going to go over, but before we get started, let's talk about some pirate fashion basics. So to do a little research for this video, I wanted to see what kind of was traditional for pirate wear. So starting off, we'll talk about overall color palette. So typically when we see people in pirate garb, we think of the following colors. Neutrals like whites and taupes and tans, brown, black, and red. So all of these kind of natural kind of colors, a little bit of those dark colors to pull in kind of our sinister pirate look, that color palette is something that we're gonna stick to. So whenever you go into your closet and you're looking for pieces that are gonna make a great pirate outfit, look for those colors first. Next, you're going to wanna think about specific patterns. And for a lot of pirate outfits, we see people wearing stripes, or polka dots. That's another way to go into your closet and help you narrow down some pieces that might work. Let's talk about material and feel. A lot of what pirates do, I'm talking like pirates are, well, I guess there are current day pirates, but pirates like we're dressing up like, they're going to be layered outfits. So lots of layers with lots of blousey materials. So, you know, Guys, maybe you want an oversized shirt. Girls, look for your blouses, things with puffy sleeves, your flowier skirts. Definitely midi or maxi skirts are going to be huge. Something that's very billowy and very layered. Next, the perfect thing to really bring your entire outfit together is going to be your accessories. So the thing that's really going to make your pirate look very finished is going to be, for women, a great pair of gold earrings, and for anybody else, signature scarves and a great pair of boots. Now, on Disney Cruise Line, on Pirate Night, once you go in from enjoying your day either in port or um, out by the pool, you're going to have this scarf 
on your bed. There's gonna be enough for everybody in your party. And this is a great thing that you can use to pull your look together. I'm going to be incorporating them into some of the outfits that I pulled, but keeping these basic kind of pirate outfit rules in mind, let's jump into my outfits and hopefully that'll inspire you to find some things in your closet that you can use to have your very own pirate night look. So here is look number one. So to put this outfit together, I had this maxi skirt that I got on clearance from Forever 21. And like I said, I wanted to incorporate some of those pirate patterns that we see that are typical. So I chose something that was polka dot. And then I incorporated that also with a style that we talked about. So something that was nice and blousey to give us that kind of pirate top vibe. I went with the longer skirt because that's more typical for pirate fashion. And I paired it with these brown leather fry boots. I'm gonna back up so you guys can see. And I think this looks really piratey just to, and I didn't mention earlier actually, but leather is a really, really signature pirate material. So any kind of leather belts, leather boots, um, leather bracelets that you can incorporate, that's really going to help your accessories drive the look home. I'm gonna come up close so you guys can see, I did include also a brown leather belt to help tie in the shoes. And then for my other accessories, of course we have to have signature gold hoops. These I got from Shein. This top is Meredith's from Shein. And then I used our Disney Cruise Line scarf in my hair kind of in this typical piratey fashion. So what I did was I just took it like this, placed it on my head like so, and then tied it underneath my ponytail. And I think that gives it a really super piratey look. And to make it more feminine, I would like pull out some of my tendrils, but I didn't style my hair today, so I won't do that for now. Well, maybe I will, let's see. So pulling out a couple tendrils will make it a little bit, a little bit cuter, a little more feminine or even having your hair down. Or if you wanted, you could even take this and tie it as a neck scarf and that would also look very piratey. But like you guys can see, kind of our pirate basics that we talked about earlier. So materials, patterns, um, layers, styles, combining all those together really helps you capture the look. And I think this is super cute. I feel fashionable wearing it. I would wear it to dinner. Um, and if you didn't want to go so piratey to dinner, you could just instead put on a cute pair of heels and no belt. That would look really cute and throw these accessories on to go to the pirate party and get some incredible themed photos and you wouldn't have to pack two outfits because we all know how precious suitcase real estate is. This is going to be a really great dual look. So wear it to dinner and be very formal and fashionable. Wear it on to pirate night and be really on theme. Get some great adorable photos. So this is look number one and I want you guys to vote in the comments which look is your favorite. I might look like this one. I don't want to speak too soon but I really do like this one a lot. Okay, moving on to look number two. We did see this look um, in my Disney Cruise on What to Pack video. So if you saw that, I just made a couple changes. But if you're new, I'm doing another kind of permutation of a white blouse. I chose this one with bell sleeves because that felt very piratey to me. And those are easy to find right now because 70s fashion is so popular. And I paired it with this layered skirt. So this was a skirt that I got from Giovanni. I absolutely absolutely love it. You can see there's a short leather skirt underneath and then kind of this tool type skirt over it, which you could totally do in your own closet. So maybe layering a couple skirts to make something a bit fuller um, and giving it that very layered pirate look. I kept on my same leather boots. I think everybody has a pair of leather boots for fall that you can pack that would be perfect. And I changed up the accessories a bit from the last time I showed this outfit. One of the things that I love that feels very piratey is this crisscross detail, but I also added this gold belt. So this is a gift from a friend. This is a vintage belt, but we all know how pirates love their gold. We're gonna keep on our classic gold hoop earrings, but I think it's a great touch to add things like a gold belt or gold bracelets like we were talking about with our leather in the last video. And this time I used 
our Disney Cruise Line scarf as a hair tie. That's kind of been a popular look the last few years and I think that's a cute kind of trendy way to utilize the Disney Cruise Line scarf in a way that is up to date and really makes your outfit look cute. I also love this and I think this is something that we either all have in our closet or we could get really easily and really affordably from stores nearby. So Again, just something really kind of blousey, something layered, um, a longer, fuller skirt, I think it makes for a very great pirate look. Another thing I'm gonna add really quick while I'm up here is combat boots are so popular. Everybody has a pair of combat boots. That would also look really cute with this. You don't have to have the tall brown leather boots. Any pair of combat boots would be chef's kiss. Okay, so here is look number three. Like we talked about in the beginning, red is such a signature pirate color and anything kind of within the red family. So maroons or kind of deep purples, all of those are very uh, closely associated with pirates, used a lot in pirate costumes. And so I chose this really bold red blouse that I had mainly because it also has kind of frilly sleeves and layered. Um, frills here. I paired it with this black skirt that I got from Shein and kept on my same brown leather boots. You could also do black boots and that would be really cute. I like this because if you're somebody who is a bit shy about dressing up, which let me just say, take this opportunity just to be a kid again. I know some people may be reserved about putting on full pirate garb and letting strangers see them, but that's the point. They're strangers. You're never going to see each other again. Let go, have fun, be a kid, act crazy, do what you want. But if it's your first time and you just need to dip your toe in the pirate party water, this is a good outfit for you. So something that you would wear on a day-to-day -day basis, but just has those slight pirate themes. So great boots, skirt, blouse and then of course our gold accessories and this time I used our Disney Cruise Line bandana in a bit more moderate of a way just kind of like I would any other headscarf so I like this like I said if you're going to be a bit more shy or you just want to try it out on your first cruise or you want something like I said that you want to wear to dinner and then on although people wear their full pirate costumes to dinner as well but if you're just feeling a bit more reserved, this could be a good look for you. Pulling in those essential pirate colors, um, these fun, frilly, blousey details, and of course, our great accessories. Okay, I know I said there was gonna be four looks, but Mom is here with me and just helped me, so now there's gonna be five because we remembered she had this awesome, flowy, black maxi skirt, which I think a lot of you guys will have in your closet. So I just put it on with that same blouse from our last outfit and then changed up our accessories a little bit. Of course, I'm gonna keep my hoops, but then we added this polka dot hair scarf. Like we said earlier, pirates, for some reason when I think of pirates, I think of polka dots or stripes. Um, so I added that as kind of a belt. And then I did a side ponytail and used our Disney Cruise Line pirate scarf, just as kind of a ribbon on that. This is just a step above our last one on the terms of piratiness if you will. Um, and I think it's really cute and very on theme. I would also, I don't have a vest, but mom and I were saying it would be really great if you could incorporate some kind of vest into these looks. If I had one, I would do it. Some of you guys might have one lying around or you could even find one at Goodwill. And I think it would be a really great layer to add to any of these looks. I would literally throw it on top of anything that I've already worn. Um, and I think that would really look cute and piratey. Okay, everybody, here is our last look. I am wearing two different shoes. I want you to vote on which one you like better. I've got our traditional brown leather boot or a black over the knee boot. Now, I realize all the other looks were skirts. That might not be everybody's jam. I'm not always in the mood to wear skirts. So I wanted to do one look with pants. So I just got a pair of black leggings from my closet. Everybody has a pair of black leggings. We've all been living in leggings in quarantine. But I picked these fun ones with this leather detail down the side because like I said, leather is one of the materials I think of commonly being incorporated into pirate costumes and outfits. I paired it with red to bring in some bright, bold, fun, piratey colors into the color palette of the outfit. And I love this blouse because it does have this frilly detail here. And of course, I always think of pirates having kind of like a frilly um, blouse that's like layered. Somebody 
giving the name of what that is. And then a key component to pirate outfits we haven't talked about yet are dusters. So everybody might not have a duster. This is one that I got from Rainbow years ago, but we all do have at least some kind of winter coat. Now I know that's a lot to pack, but if you're really getting into your pirate look, it's gonna be totally worth it. Um, I thought this was fun. It reminded me of Captain Hook. I really liked it. I love this look. I can't decide if this is my favorite or not. For our accessories, I kept on our earrings, and then I did kind of a sassy half up, half down with a pony up top and tied our Disney Cruise Line ribbon around it. And then I went for a belt that had some gold on it and some studs that felt very piratey to me. I love this look. I think it's a great option. Like I said, if you're somebody who is not going to want to wear a skirt or you feel more comfortable in pants or you just want something that looks a little bit tougher and I really really like this you guys vote in the comment section down below let me know which look was your favorite let me know if you have any questions I want to give a big thank you to Ludine I think this video was your idea Ludine I think we had both talked about this and you had asked for it a couple times so thank you for being so active on my channel thank you for your input and your suggestions that really helps me so much more than I can say um yeah and I think that is all. Let's go ahead and shout out some subscribers. I want to give a special thank you and shout out to my friends Carly Saunders and Melody Rose Leon. So I got to meet both of you on the channel recently. You have been commenting on videos, watching so many videos, and being so incredibly sweet and supportive. And that means the world to me. Like I was saying earlier, I've worked really hard to try to build a good positive community and really make YouTube happen for me and to think that I have incredible friends and supporters like you is really what keeps me going. Like the fact that there's people encouraging me and supporting me and enjoying my videos when I didn't think that anybody would ever watch them blows my mind. So thank you both so much. You are so kind and so beautiful and I appreciate you so much. I appreciate and love all of you guys so much. Please let me know what you want to see next right here on Alleyways. Bye!